what goes through your mind when you look at that? When I look at it, it's everything that we dreamed about and talked about, really. The support, her being on the front row, and... We probably put her through the wrinkles when it comes down to, it's like, the reason why we're here. October 3rd, 2021. Jets defensive tackle Quinnen Williams and his older brother, Jets linebacker Quincy Williams, made history. They became the first siblings to record sacks in the same game for the same team. There to witness it all, their grandmother, Yavarda Henderson. It was a great moment. They had a great, a successful game that day. And they said that I was a good luck charm. 11 years earlier, the Williams brothers and their younger siblings endured an unimaginable loss when their mother, Markeisha, passed away following a second bout with cancer. Consumed by the grief of losing her daughter, Yavarta became the cornerstone of the family. I was the person taking them football practice, picking them up, taking their sister to cheerleader practice, picking them up. There was no break in it. Like, we're gonna continue, continue doing what we're, you know, what they wanted to do. I started doing therapy and stuff like that and just talking about it and just learning how to deal with different situations from my mom past. And, and I told her one day, I said, hey, you never, you never dealt with it because you was just so like making sure we successful when we was in. And she told me, she's like, nah, we, I never thought about it. She stepped up in a huge way. She really didn't have time to like take a pause like we did. She just put our best foot forward and then like we asked her about it and she was like, I wouldn't have changed anything as far as like how she was there for us. Not only did Yavarta step up as a caretaker, she immersed herself in Quinnen and Quincy's passion for football, becoming their biggest supporter and their biggest critic. Miss tackle. Reaching before you get to the man is not going to work. I think I have a pretty good understanding of the game. <laughs> I, I, I critique them sometimes, but you know, I try not to, but I will. <laughs> she giving us the play by play, run by run, and it's just like, all right, it's like the next coach that before I hear about it the next day from my actual coaches. Should have been a little bit faster, Quincy. You have to catch him before you fall. He's called a tackle, not a layout. <laughs> like, mine's more like uh, the way I tackle or something like that. Just keeping my head out of the uh, play. And then uh, if I do miss a tackle, it's like you got to keep your feet running. You got to keep your feet running. So that's the biggest thing. Can you, in your best grandma imitation, like give me some of her, of <laughs> grandma's critiques? Boy, every time them two boys uh, uh, double team you, <laughs> you just whip right past them and get to the quarterback. Say, good job. Next time, be a little bit faster. What if you have the most perfect game? There's no such thing. No such thing. There's <laughs> always something to get better, <laughs> yeah, she said. Yeah, for sure. No matter what you do, you can always do better. There were some mistakes. Your game can always be lifted up higher. You know, no matter how high you think it is, it's an, another height you can go. 